In this video, we're going to take a look at how exponents can affect an integer, specifically a negative integer. To set this up, we will remember that exponents are really repeated multiplication. And if that's the case, we can steal something we know about multiplication. We know that if we have an even number of negatives multiplied together, the answer is positive. So if we have an even exponent, we have an even number of negatives, which makes the answer positive. Similarly, if we have an odd exponent, we have an odd number of negatives being multiplied together. This makes the answer negative. I do want you to be aware of a slight difference, though, between two very similar looking problems. Negative 4 squared and negative 4 in parentheses squared. We want to be very careful with exponents because exponents are only going to affect what they're physically attached to. So in this first problem, negative 4 squared, the only thing repeated, the only thing squared is the 4. We really have the opposite of 4 squared or 4 times 4. As you can see, a negative times a positive will give us negative 16 for this first answer, while the second one repeats the entire parentheses because the exponent is on the parentheses. Negative 4 times negative 4, and we see two negatives making it a positive 16. So there is a slight difference if the 4 is negative 4 is in parentheses or not. Are we squaring the negative or not? Only if it's in parentheses does this negative get squared. All right, with that in mind, and specifically looking at the examples of even exponents versus odd exponents, let's take a look at negative 2 to the 6th power. We see that this exponent of 6 is even, so we've got an even number of negatives multiplied together, means our answer is going to be positive. Positive what? Well, we've got 6 twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 multiplied together. And so we just have to multiply, and we can multiply by 2 in our heads probably. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and 32 times 2 is 64. And because we had an even exponent, we know the answer is positive, positive 64 for our final solution. We don't really need the positive, but I'm just writing it for emphasis here. How about this one? Negative 5 cubed. This time, the exponent is odd. Odd exponent means we have an odd number of negatives, so our answer is negative. Negative what? Well, we just have to do 5 cubed, or 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, and we might need some chicken scratch to actually multiply 25 by 5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 more is 12. So we get 125 when we multiply those together. The exponent was odd, so we have for our final answer, negative 125. And so we can see quite nicely that when working with negatives and exponents, an odd exponent will make the answer negative, and an even exponent will make the answer positive.